Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, September 25th. And I am here with... Rick Sexton, Director of Security and Operations. And Rick and I have a, a serious topic to talk about today. Um, we want to talk about the, the canine sweep that was conducted last Saturday on campus. Um, first of all, if you were on campus at the time and you were asked to leave, we apologize. Um, but Rick, tell us about this week. What was the, the purpose of it and some of the background? Yes, we had a scheduled sweep for the 20th and the, we had uh, members of our public guard department and the U.S. Embassy to, to work together and conduct a, a search of the campus. Uh, this is not uh, the first sweep we've had. As a matter of fact, this is the, the second sweep this year and the sixth sweep since I've been on site since August of last year. So this is, sweeps are in a sense best practice in the security world. We will do everything um, to ensure the safety and security of our children. So this was a preventative sweep that, in fact, all of our sweeps have yielded negative results. That's correct. Uh, of the six sweeps, we, we have had no findings uh, in the past two years. Um, but it is important to know that, that they are uh, an effective and efficient tool for a campus of this type. There's, uh, I, I think it's roughly 20 acres, and in order to to search an area this size, the canines are just a necessary tool. They are best practice. Uh, I say it's a matter of due course and best practice that we that we use them. We use them frequently. Uh, I think it's 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 good as a matter of situational awareness of the school. We like to know where we're at, that we and that we have a safe school. And I, and I certainly believe that we'll continue this practice throughout the remainder of the year. I had sent out an email um, two weeks ago in regards to a CID visit on campus. The email went out to middle school and high school parents, CID visit on campus last June. As it happened, we were out of session. Um, CID um, wanted to see some students. Um, given that we had already closed, they um, in turn went to the homes of some of the families and asked for the students to come to CID and be tested for drugs. Um, I think it's important to talk about the, um, the possibility of a future visit. It may occur. Uh, another visit may occur in the future. Yes. Um, when I spoke with, with the uh, Cuttery officials uh, earlier in the month, the, the conversation was, was about the, uh, the nature of their visit in June, um, the, the possibility of the need to interview uh, more students, students from ASD, and, and the need to cooperate and cooperate fully. Um, we have to be completely uh, honest with ourselves that, that, we are, uh, that we are guests of this country, that we are uh, com that we are obliged to comply and, and uh... We will do everything possible um, to cooperate with the authorities. At the same time, it's important for our parents and our students to know that we are here to protect um, them. And that's why it's so important that we build a relationship with the Cuttery authorities so that they know us and they understand our school. Um, and we would, of course, should CID officials come on campus again, we would, of course, attempt to inform parents. Um, we just don't know exactly what the circumstances around such a visit might be, and so it's important that, it's important to send that email out to gain awareness. I, I think it's, it's important to say that it's very hard, in fact, impossible to put an, our old head on young shoulders and that we all have a responsibility to talk with our students, to talk with our children about the dangers of drug usage. Um, I, I can completely empathize with, with anyone who receives an email that says, this is something that, that is either going to happen or has a very good chance of happening that involves uh, a conversation about drugs and our children. Uh, I think that it's, I think that it's um, frightening in some ways as a parent. It's, uh, it's unnerving when, when, you, when you receive a communication like this. 
and but it's also uh, an opportunity for dialogue that that may not have happened otherwise. Um, I, I know that having a 15-year-old son, uh, that dialogue absolutely occurred uh, in our home more than once as a result, um, and I think that's a I think that that's an opportunity not wasted uh, in our home. Yeah, we want we want parents and students to be well aware of the risk and students to understand the profound impact that um, of the damage that drugs can do on their lives. Absolutely. So we thank you. That's Sahifa this week. Um, feel free to contact either one of us for um, if you have questions, concerns, or would like more information. Thank you.